Welcome to the Center for Chinese Music and Culture at Middle Tennessee State University. My name is Dr. Mei Han, director of the center. I'm surrounded by musical instruments from a variety of cultures in China. And today, I would like to introduce clappers, which is under the category of wood in Bain, the ancient Chinese musical instrument categorization system. Handheld clappers are percussion instruments known as ban in Mandarin Chinese. They are made of either wood or bamboo. Similar instruments are bones found in North American folk music and a katal in Rajasthani music in India. In many Chinese operas, one musician plays a pair of clappers and a small drum together, leading the ensemble. His function is similar to the conductor in the Western Opera Orchestra. Today, I want to focus on two different types of clappers. The first one is a, a set of four pieces known as si bao, or four treasures. These are all cut from one section of a bamboo stalk. When dried, the bamboo is very light and can be highly polished. However, some makers fry the clappers in cooking oil to obtain a high and sharp sound. The four treasures are used in Nanyin, or Southern Sound, a very old music genre from Fujian on the southeast coast of China. Nanyin is also popular in Taiwan and Singapore, where Chinese immigrants from Fujian have settled for hundreds of years. This set of four treasures is wrapped in a cloth package. Inside, there are a number of lines of Chinese characters. They are poetic phrases, such as lotus step, light move, double dragons in circling columns, or butterflies move as a couple. They are created to help students to learn and memorize different rhythmic patterns. I invited Ms. Tsai Yayi, a master Nanyin singer and teacher from Fujian Quanzhou, to demonstrate how to play the four treasures. Now I want to introduce another type of clapper called the kuai ban, or fast clappers. There are two separate sets of clappers. The larger has two bars, and the smaller has five bars, one facing the other four. Each set is connected with twine, and Chinese coins were put in between the four small bars. Kuaiban are used for a storytelling tradition called Kuaibar Shu or Fast Clapper Narration. I have invited Dr. Jan Wells, a distinguished linguist and scholar in Chinese literature, to perform a Kuaibar Shu piece. Dr. Wells has been performing Kuaiban for decades. He often refers to this art form as Chinese rap. <laughs> Big commotion late last night, thinking about money. Couldn't sleep tight, so I grabbed a spade and I headed south and I found a spot way out of sight and I dug with all my might. Who would have guessed? I dug right into a treasure chest. Coins of silver, coins of gold, diamonds, baskets. Now where am 
I going to stash all this loot? It's too dangerous in the ground. Not in buildings they burn down. Lend it out, no one to trust. Start a business, it might bust. The more I thought, the more I got uptight. Till I blew a fuse, woke up, and saw the light. <laughs> wrong, wrong, how wrong could I be? My iron-handled walking stick is bold enough for me. Thank you for tuning in. 谢谢，再见。